On today's show, a Wi-Fi Now special presentation on monetizing carrier Wi-Fi. Customer retention is the name of the game, says Johan Tervey from Aptilo Networks. Join us right after this. Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to this special presentation of Wi-Fi Now. My name is Klaus Hetting, and what we're going to show you in just a moment is, in fact, a conference presentation by my good friend, Johan Tervey of Aptila Networks. This nine-minute video was recorded at Wi-Fi Now Amsterdam, the conference last year in November, and there's some great insights here on, uh, on monetizing carrier Wi-Fi. So, Watch this and enjoy, uh, and I'll be back after the video. The telecom landscape is changing. It's really changing. And uh, this is how it used to be, right? The cable operators, they had rich content over high-speed cable networks. Um, the mobile operators, they didn't have as much content, but they had mobility. And then, two things happen simultaneously. The OTT players like Netflix and, and others came in, and at the same time, 4G was launched. So all of a sudden, the combination between a 4G network and uh, over-the-top vendors like Netflix came in and competed with the cable operators. They were squeezed from two ends. And that is the main reason why cable operators need to go Wi-Fi. They need to provide a, a nomadic experience, at least, for their users. And most of them do, and they are very smart about it, deploying Wi-Fi in the right locations, and can then give this nomadic experience that their users expect. Then we have the mobile operators. I mean, you have seen this picture before, right? about 70 to 80 percent already is going through Wi-Fi of the traffic. And in a few years, that's projected to be 85, 90 percent. Now, that is really a game changer for a mobile operator. Because if this trend is true, which I believe in, then they risk to go from being a mobile broadband provider to something that I use in between hotspots. And what that will mean in terms of sure everybody can understand. So for me, carrier Wi-Fi is primarily a customer intention game, for sure. And if you don't believe me in this argument, let's look at the user. My 18-year-old son, he would never even consider hiring a landline when he moved from home if he has a good mobile connection in his house. What's important for him is to be able to be connected with all his devices, not only the mobile phone, to a high-speed network. This is what operators need to relate to, and that is the next driver to why they really need to go Wi-Fi. And for that matter, Wi-Fi calling. And then, if this is not enough, Think about this. How many devices do you have in average? I think it's like three, four, right? And only one maybe has a SIM card. And if you are going to be a service provider for your customers, you really need to cover all their devices. If now Wi-Fi is primarily a customer attention game, then we can actually put a number to it, right? It's actually 15 to 20 percent of the operator's revenue that they spend in customer retention and churn prevention. Shaw Communications in, in Canada, they are a Canadian cable MSO, 12,000 employees, 4 billion US dollars in revenues. And in the Q4 2014 earnings call, Mr. Brad Shaw, the CEO, said that. Active internet Wi-Fi customers also have 35% lower churn rate than those customers that don't use their Wi-Fi service. 35%. So what I really think 
we need is a different um, ROI calculation altogether. Because the traditional one looks like this. If you go to your management as an operator and come up with a traditional ROI, you will not be, be uh, they will not allow you to invest in Wi-Fi. I'm pretty sure of that. Because Wi-Fi is considered to be free or included for the subscribers. So with the additional service you can charge for, you will add a few tens of millions to the billions that you have in your core business. And then you will have a cost. And even if you can show that the Wi-Fi network is profitable in itself, adding a few millions on the profit side, it's, they will just look at this and they say, OK, so you want us to add Wi-Fi, a new technology for us, and just add a few millions on top of our profits. Forget it. But then they haven't looked into the churn side and the alternative cost. So if we play with the, the fact that we had 15 to 20 percent of revenues is in thin air just to reduce uh, the churn and keep, keep, keep the customer happy so that they, they uh, and, and have marketing campaigns to gain new customers. Well, if you put that in context and put those two models together, you will easily see where the money is in carrier Wi-Fi. It's not on the direct monetization. It's all into the reduced churn part. And of course, that is hard to prove. But you can always show on the show um, example, 35% less churn. So direct monetization for the larger operators, I would argue, is just a tip of the iceberg. The real money is beneath the surface. Of course, then we have our Wi-Fi ISP customers. It's a different ballgame for them. They don't have the thousands or millions, or rather, subscribers. They have just a few thousands, maybe. So then it's a limited effect for them in the reduced churn. And they must make Wi-Fi as a sustainable business for themselves. And they are very creative about this. They do ad hoc services. They do B2B services to, to venues. Now, as a tier one operator, you have a lot to learn from the Wi-Fi ISPs. So I think there are two reasons for a tier one operator to go into the B2B with business to sell attractive Wi-Fi services to, to venues. First of all, they can earn money on it, of course. That's, that's a big driver. The other driver is, if you are not at home, you are not at work or in between, where are you? You are at the venue. So they need the venues to really gain that footprint. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that presentation there by Optilo Networks. Now, uh, I just want to make one short announcement here before we uh, head out for today. Now, we're taking Wi-Fi now. The conference uh, to Washington, D.C. this coming April 19th to 21st. And to find out what's on our agenda, go to wi nowevents.com slash USA. If you have any questions, drop me a line at klaus at wifi now events.com. Remember, Aptilo Networks is actually going to be there. And if you want to access uh, all the great information, uh, uh, reference information on, on carrier Wi Fi, go to aptilo.com. There's a lot of good stuff on that website. And that's it for the show today. I just want to mention that on our next show, uh, we've got Todd Mersch of a very promising startup called XL Air. He's going to come on. XL Air is bringing the management of Wi-Fi and small cells, small cell networks together in order to optimize both. We've got some great technology to do that, and we'll share all of that with you next week. So keep watching. Great to have you with us, and see you next time. Wi-Fi Now is a production of RCR TV News. To suggest a show topic or to learn more about Wi-Fi Now events, you can reach Klaus Heading at klaus at headingconsulting.com. To find out more about Wi-Fi Now and all things wireless, visit rcrwireless.com.